So the first thing to understand is that the, the chemistry of the Earth is split into four major subgroups. So you've got the lithosphere, the biosphere, the hydrosphere, and the atmosphere, okay? So these are the four major subgroups of matter that we see in the Earth, okay? And we'll go through which, what each of these are as we go through this lesson. So the lithosphere is essentially any mineral component that we see on the Earth. So the lithosphere is composed of the Earth's crust and the upper mantle, okay? So if we imagine the Earth is like this, um, slightly more circular than this, you've got the core in the very middle, which is very dense, and then you've got, some, um, and then you've got the mantle, which is liquid, and then you've got the crust on the outside. So the, the lithosphere kind of only takes up the crust and the top part of the mantle, okay? So all of this red section would be the lithosphere, okay? So that's what it is. It's just the crust and the upper part of the mantle. So the lithosphere is any section of the Earth that deforms over an extremely long time period, okay? So another way of looking at it is, imagine that you have rock, right? And the rock on the Earth is moving, okay? But very, very slowly. And when it collides with other rocks, it deforms. So we can consider any of the lithosphere to be any part of the Earth that deforms over immensely long periods of time, okay? So that's what the lithosphere is. Now what it's composed of is mainly metal silicates as well as aluminium oxide, iron oxide, calcium carbonate and sodium chloride, okay? So it's mostly composed of metal silicates but there are other chemicals like these scattered around. They exist as underground deposits, rocks and soils, okay? So the lithosphere um, exists as underground deposits of rock, um, soil, um, other types of rocks that we see on above, above the ground. What are minerals? And name two examples. So what are minerals? Minerals are naturally occurring substances with, def with a definite composition. Okay, so a mineral has a defined composition. Bauxite is mostly aluminium oxide. Um, you know, so there's a set comp composition for it. These minerals can be, can be considered compounds because they do not vary in composition. Um, so an example of a mineral would include quartz, which is silicon dioxide, and iron oxide. So these minerals are just compounds that we find in the Earth's crust, okay? What is believed to have caused the layered structure of the Earth, the layered nature of the Earth? Why does it happen? So the main cause would likely be from density differences in the Earth's components. Heavy elements sank towards the center, so dense elements went towards the center of the Earth, while lighter elements combined with other elements and stayed at different layers depending on their density and temperature. So the lighter elements would have sank less compared to the very dense elements. So when they reached the very dense sections, they would have just floated on top. And then, you know, that would have kept happening for different densities, and that would have created the layered structure that we see on the Earth. 